Alex Meixner here with I Love New Braunfels. And of course, I'm here with my trusty assistant, Bryce T. Everybody say hi, Bryce T. I am here at Bootleggers with the man, the myth, the legend. He is an entrepreneurial food guy who has made New Braunfels definitely a landmark right down here in downtown. Everybody, Dave Sonata. Dave, how did you get in to all of this food business? All right. Well, uh, started right here in New Braunfels at Sealy Elementary. First day of fifth grade, I fell deeply in love with the cafeteria lady and knew that I had found my niche. Mm. Did you end up marrying that lady? Well, she ended up being my cousin, so not in this state. Ah, well, so tell me, how did we get everything going here? How did Bootleggers become such an amazing landmark for great pizza right here in downtown New Braunfels? Thank you so much. Uh, about 10 years ago, we were lucky enough to buy the Oyster Bar, and we've been having success over there. We make everything from scratch, and so the food is delicious. We ended up expanding and uh, looking for where are we going to put all these people that keep moving into our wonderful city. And uh, the leather shop next door became available, and so... We changed a leather place into a pizza shop. Bryce T. German potato wedges. Well, it is a very special place. Obviously, it's got a great atmosphere with the bar. And um, I love all the pictures here. And um, I'm a big fan of the fact that not only do you have all the national brands, but you're supporting Faust, made right here in New Braunfels. And I think I recognize one of those beers yeah. over there. It's a delicious <laughs> beer and a beautiful tap handle. And most importantly, though, that pizza. Tell me about the dough. I mean, everything that you have, it's handmade. Absolutely. What's uh, going on here? We start, we hand make the dough. Uh, we wait 48 hours and let it proof and develop all the wonderful flavor before we cook it. Uh, when we were starting, we tried to make all the cheese. We found out right away that we couldn't quite make all the cheese, but we do make all the mozzarella right here in house. Uh, we find that in our mozzarella sticks, the house salads, on the pizza. Um, yeah, everything's going great. Well, I'll tell you, besides the pizza and the salads, those sandwiches you have here, the appetizers, it's just a great mix of everything. You have great service, and you've developed quite the reputation right here in town. Well, thank you so much. We try to bring uh, quality ingredients. Uh, none of our ingredients have any preservatives whatsoever, from the pepperoni to the Italian sub. No preservatives whatsoever. Um, yeah, we're super proud of being able to deliver a quality product. Hey, Bryce T, looks like you need this shoved in your mouth. All right, Dave, so tell me a bit about some of the pizza varieties you have here. All right, all sorts of different stuff. We have a white lightning pizza that we came up with that has fennel, onion, and mushroom and bacon on it. It's absolutely fantastic, very original. We have a meat head, which is our version of the meat lovers. We have a veggie pizza with uh, fresh chopped garlic on there, which is fantastic. Mm. We do have a gluten-free crust for those who are gluten sensitive. It's uh, rice based. Yeah, go crazy. That's that's great. I'll tell you, it's one of my favorite places to come when I'm in downtown New Braunfels. Not just for the food, not just for the beer, but there's a whole bunch of games hanging out here, too. Yeah, we try to create a family-friendly environment. Again, uh, juxtaposing the Oyster Bar, we get super overwhelmed over there, and so we want to some place to have the kiddies and the family to come and uh, you know be comfortable. So we have a nice outdoor back patio with a play set and lots of games inside and uh, all sorts of stuff. Those games are good for the adults and the kids. In fact, I think we're going to have a little challenge here. All right. Okay. We're going to pick out three games. It's going to be a best of three. All right. And if I win, I get a large pizza once a month for the rest of the year. All right. If you win, I will be jumping up here on some Friday or Saturday night with my accordion and giving you a little set on the bootleggers bar. All right, we're gonna start these games off and I kinda have the feeling Dave here is a bit of a pool shark, but we're gonna do a little pool here. So let's make this as painless as possible for me. You get to break this thing and then whatever color you sink first, then you just have to sink one more of those and you will have beaten me and we can move on to the next game. We'll see how it goes. All righty. Good luck, sir. Good luck, sir. Game on. Game on. All right, you got solid. All righty. All right, 
as expected, I went down on pool. So how about some Pac-Man? I'm gonna get you back there. All right, sounds good. Good luck, sir. Good luck, sir. I wonder if you get the fruit. Oh, there you go. Bounce me into the ghost. Okay. Lured him in. Lured him in! Oh! I was almost in a cherry! <laughs> okay, I lost at Pac-Man. Our best of three ended up just having to be two. I guess I owe you a gig. I'll be here some Friday or Saturday night on the bar playing a few tunes on my cordine. We look forward to it very much. I want to feed Vice Tea an original classic. Alrighty. <gasps> Sicky sucky sicky sucky hoy hoy